But this is the beginning of it. But it all begins, which is saying the power of Messiah, that death and resurrection, is to pass through. And, and, and it's the ultimate Hebrew. What happened when he died? He said, it's finished. What happened? What happened? The veil of the temple, the barrier between man and God, broke in two. And the way was opened up because he was passing through. And that is the power that you have, people. The power to cross over from death to life. To cross over what it's impossible, doesn't matter. You have the power of breakthrough. You have the power of total life to turn something that's totally dead into something that's totally alive. It's no accident. What, how did they get out of Egypt? Well, God came into Egypt and He passed over the houses. You know, Passover. Passover. And so they, He passed over so they could pass out of the land. But do you know what the word is for Passover? Well, I mean, not, not the holiday, but what He said, I will pass over. Avar, Hebrew. Passover. The very first feast is about the power of the Lamb. The Lamb is the power of Passover. And, and so that, when did He die? When did Jesus die? What day? Passover. The day of passing over, passing through. And then what happens? They get out of Egypt and what happens? Moses, Exodus 14, stretches out his hand over the sea and the Lord caused the sea to go back by a strong east wind all night. He made the sea dry land and the waters divided in two and the children of Israel came into the middle of the sea on dry ground. The waters became a wall to them from their right and their left. This is one of the most famous images in history. Cecil B. DeMille, you know, and that just barely touches that. The Hebrews are passing through the Red Sea. But what does that have to do? It has everything to do with it because they're Hebrews. The power of the Hebrew, the Avar, the Avri, is the power to cross through something that you can't cross through. That's impossible to cross through and they're crossing through it. And they're going from slavery to, to freedom. And there's, it was absolutely impossible. So there's a lot of things that are impossible in your life. But God says you've got the power of Messiah to cross through and pass right through it like the Red Sea. Amen. And we've had, by the way, we've had Red Seas even like, yeah, I'm not going to go through it, but even getting this building where we had up to the very last minute had no building. And the, it was a Red Sea and the Lord just last minute just opens up the whole thing. That's the power of God. They're walking through this. It's impossible. And God wants you to walk through things that are impossible. He wants you to live. And people say that's impossible that that person could now be living like this. They're leaving Egypt. The power of the Hebrew, the power from Messiah is the power to leave any Egypt and the power to cross any sea. They are going there, the great divide. And then when they get to the Jordan, it's another kind of crossing, but it's a different crossing. And that's the crossing where they have to go up to the river and nothing happens. And then once they step, then it, then it goes. And there's a lot of things in your life that are not going to change until you step. God said you've got the power. They're Hebrews. They've got to cross. They have to. So they've got the Jordan River versus the Hebrews. But the power of the Hebrew in God is stronger than the Jordan. And so you, but you've got to step and then it goes. Many things in your life are going to happen when you step and say, no, God said it. I don't see it. I can't see it at all, but I have hope. I don't go by the hopelessness. I'm going by this and I'm going to step forward and it's going to part. And I'm going to walk through it. Who are you? If you are born again, doesn't matter if you're Irish, if you're African American, if you're Spanish, it doesn't matter. You are a spiritual Hebrew, a child of God. And you have that and you therefore are the one who by your very name you are the one who has crossed over. Born again. I used to be there. I crossed over. But you're also the one who will cross over. I'm going to go to the promised land. That, that, that place. That you, I'm going to be there. That final Jordan. But I'm also the one who is crossing over every day of my life. I have that power. I'm to do it. So you must never be stopped by the enemy. But never be stopped by sin. Never be stopped by your old self either. The, Lord, the world, the flesh, or the devil that doesn't stop you unless you let it. Do not let it. You have the power to break through. What's the power? What happened in the book of Acts? They opened prison doors by the power of God. They, the, the people of God, the Hebrews, broke down the walls of Jericho. Walls come down with, with that. 
It's not enough to cross over once. You need to cross over every day. You've got that power. And that's a great power. I mean, I'm excited that I have a power. I've got the power of God. Anywhere, I, I, maybe a fight. I may not see it right that second, but I'm going to see it. Because God promises He will always lead you to triumph. But it means you have to keep going. If you don't let Him lead you, if you don't walk, you don't see it. So what it means, if you are a Hebrew, spiritually, I'm not talking about physically, I'm talking about spiritually. Some of you are both. You are going to have Red Seas because that's okay. Red Seas of problems, Red Seas of trouble, Red Seas of conflict, Red Seas of threatening, Red Seas, but the, and, and Jordans of obstacles and bondages and pop, but you are a Hebrew. Therefore it doesn't matter how big the, your Red Sea is. It doesn't matter how strong your Jordan is. You are the one who crosses over, who passes through, and who breaks through. The Lord is saying, do not stop. Do not be discouraged. Do not be afraid. Do not be intimidated. Do not give up. I'm the one who splits the sea in two before you. I'm the one who causes you to walk through dry land as if, I mean, this sea as if it was dry land. I've got that power. You are a Hebrew. And sometimes, you know, you, sometimes you need that barrier to walk through because when they walked through, you know, the Lord said, look back, look, you're never going to see that Egypt again. That's closing back. So the barrier was good. And yet, so in your life, it's okay. God's going to use every obstacle and everything for your good. You are a Hebrew. Use the power. A Hebrew is not bound. You have to say, I am not bound. I am not bound by who I was. I am not bound by where I was. Abraham left Ur. The Hebrews left Egypt. You've got the power to leave whatever that thing is. Any sin, any bondage, any darkness, any scar, any darkness, a Hebrew doesn't stop. A Hebrew walks through it, not by discouragement. I'm going to walk through I'm going to pass through part this discouragement. I'm going to walk through it. This, this problem part, I'm going to walk through it. Whatever it is, this wall of hate, I'm going to walk through it. This bad relationship, I'm going to walk through it. Whatever this is, this, this continual thing from the enemy, I'm going to walk through it. I don't care. You are a Hebrew. You've got the power. Use the power. Use the force. Walk through, pass through, cross over by the power of God. Break forth, break forward, break through, for that is the power of the child of Abraham, the child of God, the Hebrew, and the power of the Ivrim. To find out how you can receive more of Jonathan's teachings, to receive special free gifts, or get in touch, Go to hopeoftheworld.org or call toll-free 1-800-YESHUA-1. That's hopeoftheworld.org or call 1-800-YESHUA-1. That's 1-800-937-4821. You can also get more at Jonathan Kahn's Facebook page or write us direct at Hope of the World, Box 1111, Lodi, New Jersey 07644, USA.